Splash and the Soldier of the Gang Splitter. They said that spotlight that was shining on Gorilla ain't been shining as hard since Sexy Red and took over. What y'all feel about that, man? Like, with Gorilla, y'all gotta understand. She got CMG in the scope. She came in, big hit record. Bigger than any Sexy Red song. Nominated for a Grammy. Sold over 400 some thousand copies. Could be half a million right now. So it could be gold. Or almost gold. Right? So, Gorilla, she a bigger artist than Sexy Red. But, Sexy Red is a hotter artist. And, Sexy, she really like one big song that's marketable for the radio and clubs and TV. She out of here. Everybody loves Sexy Red Energy. More so than Lotto, Scarlet, Lola Brooke, even the City Girls. Right now, you got NFL owners. They ain't never got that attention from no NFL owners that early in their career. None of these hoes. Nah, man, like the street nigga love them. Females. So you can relate to Sexy Red way more than Gorilla. Because Sexy, she more open than Gorilla. She is like, everything that she do go viral. She let you know, yeah, having sex raw, you'll get this STD. You ain't gotta be no city girl to get this. You can be with your man. He give it to you. Then you give it to him. Or the next guy, or whatever. She telling you. So more females can be more open with that. If she share it and still seem cool, I can share my story. It's stuff like that. She more relatable to the guys and she banging. So all this stuff play a part. Let's go put her over. Gorilla, if Gorilla don't come with big bangers, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a thousand different lanes. I ain't gonna say a thousand. It's a couple of different lanes. They all in the same lane though. But Gorilla messing up going in that. He cheating on me. This guy ain't shit. And all that there, I need love, and I hate you, all that. That shit cool, but when it ain't no real bars or the beat, so-so, they gonna go with the person who got the energy, who rocking the crowd, who they love more. And then, when you ain't dropping music like you supposed to, cause you got Interscope, they saying, hold on. You got CMG, they saying, hold on. You know what I'm saying? like. You should be tapping in with this artist, Baby Drill, and all that. You should be tapping in with him. You should be tapping in with him. But it's probably so hard to get a verse clear and a whole bunch of shit right now. So, Gorilla, yeah, she sold more records that put her, that make her the biggest artist, the bigger artist, I mean, to Sexy Red, right? And then Sexy Red, she didn't do good with her first album. It didn't sell nothing. 8,000 copies first week. Probably higher now, but. But, what's Sexy Red doing over all the other hoes? She working way harder. She keep dropping song after song after song after song. Shooting videos. Over here, over there. Going viral every which way you can. TikTok, interviews, songs football stadiums anything Twitter so is she killing them 10 different ways so right now since Sexy Red can't sell a lot of records right now she gonna have to really show up to get her bag it's gonna be a big bag though but she gonna have to be there video shoot the tours you know what I'm saying like all that stuff the features she gotta be there once she proved she can sell and rock shows I'm talking about tours and stuff like that she can sell out 18,000 coliseums 18,000 people 17,000 people 20,000 people 
do it in 30 states, 20 states, 10 states, well, more than 10, 20 states, 15 states, still go get that club bag. Still working, still dropping shit. Ain't gotta have no half a million dollar video. I mean, ain't gotta have no six figure video. Just put some shit together. See, Sexy Red, she gonna pass a lot of artists with money. Not really so much as having number ones on the billboard or selling 500,000 copies. Or She ain't gonna need none of that there. You know why? Because once the big, you know, like the Live Nations and everybody, the big companies that spend the money on tours, once they see Sexy Red can put them asses in seats and sell out all around America, then outside of America. Oh, life gonna change. Life gonna change. Meanwhile, this artist, like a gorilla, yeah, she had the Grammys and the Billboard Awards, MTV Awards, and all that does. She doing her little performance and getting nominated and. You know, she coming out with her songs and you got Lotto and you got uh, Loda Brooke and all them, right? City girls. But Sexy Red gonna sell out on them concerts because Sexy got a bigger fan base. It's growing real fast. She gonna have a bigger fan base than the rest of them hoes. Because the streets fuck with her more than any of them other artists. That's why you'll see Lotto start tapping in with the streets a little bit more. So she'll be up under Slaughter Gang, PDE, 4L. She'll find her crew and fuck with them. But Lotto still don't got them street vibes. You know, sexy, she already blood. So niggas gonna fuck with her more on the strength of that right there. Niggas that bang at five. The rest of them hold down gangbang. So that help her out. Now Cardi, that's different, but she can't move Cardi. She can't move Nikki. Ice Spice, she, you know, right now Ice Spice doing good. I don't see how. Cause her flow, I'm like, so it gotta be cause she light skinned and she probably doing what she gotta do to stay at her rank or whatever level she on. Cause it ain't the talent. She got the look, the body, shit like that. The right politics, Ice Spice. But, um, yeah, Red, she making them type of songs, man. Like, she gonna be selling out city to city, state to state. Ain't gonna really need no help. It could just be her. But she need more songs to really do like an hour tour for the so she need to bring somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So she, all she got to do is do like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, main event. You know what I'm saying? She gone. Shit like that. Club, she gonna pack them out. And I feel like she'll be the artist that never, that'll never get too big for the club. So she'll always come back and get the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as she do that, she'll be the boosie other females like so when she come down from being that tour bitch and being that uppity bitch when she come back down she gonna always have the streets so she gonna always come back to the club pick up 40s and 50s and 60s and whatever all she gotta do is stay in that I mean keep that street audience stay in her lane don't try to be like a Nikki or a Cardi or none of them you got a different lane and yeah, go ahead and master that, and you're good. We ain't even tapped into the TV market. We ain't even tapped into the podcasting market. The shit that she'll say, she ain't got no filter, so she'll run laps around holes again. She gonna do it again when she tap into that. Right now, it's on music, movies, She'll do it again. Because she gonna tell you, yeah, I caught this type of sex disease. Yeah, I done been in shootouts. Yeah, I done got shot at. Yeah, I done got smacked. Yeah, I done. she gonna let you know the pain. You know what I'm saying? So 
a lot of females, they're going to relate to them. The rest of them hoes, they act like they ain't never fell off a bike. All they're going to do is take you about threesomes and when they got their heart broke or some shit like that or a label issue or something like that. Nah, Ray going to let you know. Yeah, I was in the car with this nigga. We got blasted on me. We got blasted on me. Yeah, yeah, I was scared. Yeah, yeah, I did this and this. But shit, I was down with my nigga, though. Yeah, I did this. Yeah, this happened to me. So she gonna go deeper. Then she gonna talk about the same shit they talk about. So she gonna relate to more men and women. So that's gonna put her over. Now, all gorilla need is them bangers. Because gorilla, she got a personality too now. But Sexy is more marketable Because she's more relatable To the hip hop community If Gorilla don't make the right songs Her flow Daddy get aggravating soon If she ain't got the right songs So Long as Gorilla don't be doing What Lola Brook doing right now Like how Lola Brook went back And redid Foxy Brown's song that's cool, but if you already fresh in your career, if you already fresh in your career and your next big song gotta be an old 2000 song, and you got the same flow, like you sound just like Foxy Brown. You use the beat, you put uh, the Taylor dude on there. So everybody liking that song for them reasons. Then it's you last. So they like it because it's the old Foxy Brown song, the beat, the flow, because you sound like a, you know what I'm saying? Even though she got bars, and then you got the R&B singer on it. Then they like your shit, like your part. So if you already got to redo old songs already and sound like the original record too, eh, you ain't got to have a big artist like that on your song. That means her team, her thoughts ain't really strong like that when it comes to hit records. She already digging in crates. Now it's all right if you do if you redo an old school song, 80, 70, but already. You know what I'm saying? Like. But it'll work. But it ain't gonna be no big, huge, huge record, but you know what I'm saying? An artist like Lola Brooke, they're not gonna last because Lola Brooke don't got the personality. She too tough. She try to make it seem like she's so sexy. Then she go tough. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got the, she ain't got it. Because if she did, she'd be all over social media more. She'd be recording every day. People would be into her, the way she talk, how she do interviews. Her interviews don't go viral. Sexy Red showing she don't need the Nicki Minaj feature. Or the Cardi B feature Or the Megan Thee Stallion feature She don't need it It'd be nice It's cool She'll take it Yeah yeah But she don't really need The big superstar females Or the big superstar males She don't need them She can go do a song with Young Nudy She can go do a song with um, Any rapper that's popping she don't really need the females. She can just fuck with Sukiana and then fuck with the rappers. Lil Dirt, Money Bag, and she'd be straight. She ain't gotta go in her bag and give Nicki Minaj two, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. No. If they ain't doing it on the strength, she ain't gotta do all that shit because the males, the rappers, they embracing her. They ain't doing that to Lola Brooke. They ain't doing that to Scarlett. Same thing was called Lip. That new single she got, that hmm, hmm, whatever she be saying, that ain't, that ain't gonna be big down south or on the west coast. I don't see them lasting. Like, I don't see Scarlet Lip lasting a long time. Because the fans and the other rappers, they ain't taking a liking to her. They be tapping in with her. Ain't no real rapper that's really popping fucking with Scarlett right now. They don't need her for no songs. They ain't saying jump on this record. 
They ain't saying they ain't reaching out to Lola Brooks saying jump on this. We need you on this. We need that. That Lola Brooks shit. Nah. It's sexy. Gorilla Steel. City Girls. And Lotto. Lotto, that's it. Now, nah, of course, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi, Nikki, they on a different, you know what I'm saying? You don't include them in there. But yeah, man. Now, the thing that can hurt Gorilla career, right, and make Sexy Red really pass her and leave her and run laps, if Gorilla wait too long to drop another hit record or come out with an album, and when she do, it's trash. That's going to kill her. Then, you would then see Gorilla start dating rappers. She's going to find that, you know, uh, Meek Mill, Nicki Minaj situation. Not saying Nicki was falling off or fell off or uh, Ari, Moneybag, or you no know, shit like that. Megan and whoever. She's going to fall into that lane. See, with Gorilla, it seems like she ain't got the same amount of freedom as Sexy Red. You see what I'm saying? Like, she can't just go do a song with this artist and that artist or be on this scene and be on that scene because Gorilla got Interscope, CMG. It'd be way harder to get a record cleared with Gorilla versus Sexy Red. And then you like, who hotter? Sexy. Now, Gorilla put up more numbers she put up more numbers. But she came in at a good time with that record. She got nominated for a Grammy. She sold over what, 40, uh, 400 some thousand. But not doing interviews, not going on live, not working TikToks and shit like that. Not staying in the people's face not going viral because the reason why I'm saying this and Gorilla got to keep doing keep going viral keep doing interviews saying shit in the interviews that go viral standing out if you don't do that you go down because y'all records not classical or classic records they for now records so If you don't do them Nicki Minaj when she first came in the game with Young Money making them type of hits, like real hits that's gonna last. You don't have to do all the other shit these females do. Say shit in interviews, get a boyfriend, date a girl, type crazy shit so it can go viral. All type of shit. Get in drama, get in rap beef. Because the numbers ain't gonna be the same. So you did good. It's a lot of artists that did good on their first album, but the second one and the third one, they went down, 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 down. We seen that with the game. We seen that with a lot of artists. Like so five million one time, never again. So uh, not saying, like I say, Gorilla got in the scope, CMG. She got a lot of talent over there. That Interscope and CMG, they probably got a lot of ideas over there. But in between the songs, do Gorilla stay hot like a Sexy Red? Sexy Red, she dropping them back to back. She ain't letting up. So that's how she'll take a spot and move them out the way. Because she don't waste no time. She knows she's making for now music. I'm going to keep dropping them. I'm showing up everywhere. Football games, basketball games, this club this hood, this studio, this stage, selling out real fast. And I don't need a record label like CMG to push me in the scope. I don't need all that. They like me for me. I don't gotta doll myself up, look so pretty, get the perfectest teeth, make my teeth so white. Um, I can say I only take showers every day. They don't love me. Yeah, I can say a whole bunch of shit. I ain't gotta look like I ain't never fell off a bike. I ain't gotta do that. And they gonna just feed into it. I can't say nothing wrong. Whether it's disgusting, nasty, 
disrespectful, funny, mean, everything I gotta do and say go viral. If I take a picture, they go viral. And I say something while I'm taking a picture, like when the security guard walk past, it go viral. If I say I did this with my boyfriend, it go viral. If I say the nicest thing a man ever got me was when he robbed somebody, it go viral. So she knows she can even make up shit and it's gonna go viral. People gonna believe it because they believe in the character, they believe in her. Cause she come from that. She come from that. With Gorilla, she said she from Memphis, but when the shooting happened at the concert, she acting like she ain't never heard of this shit before or seen nothing like this. She not acting like she been in the culture, like in that urban environment. She ain't acting like that. She acting like this shit brand new. You know what I'm saying? Oh my fucking God. You can't, nah, you don't need to do that. You from Memphis, right? Yeah, so you need to be saying different shit. Like, why would he come here? Why would he come now? Like, you nigga crazy. They must want to hit shit like that. But like I say, still right now, Gorilla is a bigger artist than Sexy. Sexy is a hotter artist, but when you get nominated for a Grammy, you sell the many records. You can put asses in seats too. She'll get more for a show on tour until Sexy show the Live Nations and all these different companies that I can sell more tickets faster and more. So yeah, man. But you can't count Gorilla out. You can't see Gorilla when she came in the game, she did come in like a Suki and a sexy red, but as soon as she got the bag, she switched it up. Got her teeth fixed, started dressing better, looking better, skin got lighter. She didn't keep it gutter. She ain't stay with little gloss and all them in that ratchet circle. They all look like they ain't ratchet no more. That's cool, but your hardcore fan base came from that look. You should have kept it that look. Not saying that you done fell off or you ain't got nothing up your sleeve or another banger or another hit record. I'm just saying the reason why people really believe that what you said because you look like that, not because you look like what you look like now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then Sexy Red, she just way more smarter when it comes to marketing. She know, okay, what the niggas like. They like Corvettes and SRTs. So I'm gonna put that shit in my raps way more. Gorilla ain't gonna do that. She gonna just keep talking about relationships and this by this guy and all that there. So a lot of niggas will look at her like, I ain't trying to bump that shit. A nigga bump the goddamn Sexy Red cause she saying Hellcats, SRTs, put a little dirt on it. Gorilla, she gonna be talking about this nigga cheated on me and you ain't real and I don't need you. She ain't really doing that on every track. She bigging niggas up. Like, nigga, come fuck me in that Hellcat. Fuck that Lamborghini. Peep me up in the SRT. They feel faster. I don't care about all that foreign shit. Pull up in that vet. Pull up in that scat pack. Yeah, man. I like the way it sound. Spin the tires. Run from the police. Yeah, so niggas like, yeah, hey, yeah, I fuck with her. Gorilla, she ain't rapping like that. And she should, because she from Memphis. So, when these females get with these big labels, they'll start changing their thoughts and saying, now nah, you need to go this way. Now nah, you need to go in this lane. But it could work. She get these endorsements. She get this and that. But sexy gonna get them too. Cause they gonna see companies, big companies and liquor companies and all that that's gonna sell. They gonna see that, oh yeah, she can move it. Or she gonna come out with her own shit and still get that. And still get it, like. But, um, that's what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. It's my thoughts on Sexy Red and Gorilla. You know, uh, not to try to put them against each other, but yeah, I'll say the first academics, Ferocious TV, he made a post. You know what I'm saying? So, 
it's timing in on it, but y'all hit that like button, hit that comment section, hit that notification bell. Y'all feel like I'm wrong, y'all cuss me out in the comments. The IG duh underscore gang underscore spitter. Who y'all rocking with more? Gorilla, Sexy Red. You rock with both of them the same. Who you think gonna last longer? Who you think hotter? Who gonna be the bigger artist? Like I say, it ain't, it's friendly competition. Ain't no beef, ain't no, it's friendly competition. You understand? Like, but yeah, man, I'm gone.